Week four of this walking challenge, I'm kind of committed to it at this point, so there's probably no going back. I add on an extra train stop the whole way along the North Down Coastal Path every week, hoping to make it the full length of the North Down Coastal Path to Bangor by the end of next month. Last week was a struggle. I made it as far as Coltra, so adding on an extra station beyond that today should take me to a station called Sea Hill. It's going to be a good 25,000 steps or so. Last week was a struggle. I'm feeling even more sluggish today, end of the month, and I'm just back from holiday, so uh, I haven't been eating great the past week or so, so I just know that this is going to be a tough one today, and I've been, oh, at least a good 25,000 steps. On the plus side, the weather here at Titanic, where we start out from every week, uh, is looking probably as good as it's been over the past few weeks I've been doing this, so hopefully it stays that way for the next few hours. I always do a little warning at this part of the video for those who are also thinking of doing this exact same walk that I'm doing. Just be aware that the first leg of it from Belfast Titanic Rise start for about two miles down the old airport road until you hit the coastline isn't exactly scenic. It's not pretty. If this part of the walk was a person, it would be Deputy Dave, just for a bit of context. It's where all the gas and oil companies are through this part of Belfast Harbour. And in fact, just walking down this bit of road, you can actually get high. So I'm at the halfway point uh, now at the Sea Park Hollywood. Feeling it all again this week, the aches, the pains, the stitch. And to add insult to injury this week, I also feel hungry. I'm starving, I can eat a huge feed. And I've just noticed actually for the first time this season, for the first time this season at Sea Park, this bring in new ground time. So up here, was where we went up to Coltra station last week. Another 30, 40 minutes on down this way will take me to a station called Sea Hill and it can't come soon enough. It's beginning to get a bit windy and cold along this path and dark as well. On the plus side, if anybody would like to buy me this house, it's up for sale. I think one of the reasons a lot of people have never done this full coastal path is there looks like a lot of the time to be dead ends the whole way along this path but actually there's always a wee path work around to the side somewhere. Over here Royal Belfast Golf Club so we'll circle around the back of that uh, in round Rockport and then about another mile or so over those trees train station hopefully oh look another house for sale just had to look up the price of one of those houses i showed you the first one looked up the website it said prices start from one and a half million starting from one and a half million it's enough to sicken you who has that kind of money a couple of million just to spend on a new house oh disgusting uh, right, I have got a bit of a pace going now because I'm about half an hour out. It's going to be tight for the train back to Belfast to the Titanic. Um, and if I miss this one, the next one isn't going to be for another hour. And I'm really, really hungry. So I don't want to wait another hour at a cold, dark train station. I think I'm going to make it. Google Maps says three minutes train is in five. Made it with about a minute to spare. Welcome to Sea Hill. Now I figure out why it's called Sea Hill. That was the steepest incline in off the coastal path to any of the train stations that run along the North Down coast. That was tough going. So one thing I'm sure of is I'm not ready for Cave Hill yet, but glad we got this far train station is up another hill and you've got all these ramps you then need to wind your way up to get actually up onto the, the platform and here we go as for what's in sea hill um from what i can gather not much it's pretty much just a, a a built up kind of residential area some nice houses as you might expect in this part of the world um a school um, a shop and that's pretty much it and as you can see the, uh, the train station isn't exactly Grand Central Station. And that 
is this week's instalment of Come Walking with Stuart. Uh, that was a tough one. Easily a three hour walk, 20,000 steps. It really is becoming a challenge now. I'm kind of kicking myself for setting this uh, challenge for myself at the beginning of the year. It sounded like a good idea at the time. And now I'm, uh, now I'm finding it tough. But um, next week will be a big one because that's going to add another 35 minutes onto it. Uh, Helen's Bay is going to be the next stop. 